Hey everyone and welcome back to Tetra Big Gaming. Ever since I was a little zygote, I've wanted a Pokemon game that put the player in control of a Pokemon battle like the ones I saw in the anime. Pokemon Tournament has just been released and it is likely the closest that we'll ever get to fulfilling my wishes. The game features 16 playable Pokemon fighters, two of which are basically the same thing, as well as 30 non-playable assist Pokemon, for a total of 44 unique Pokemon fighters. And even so, as of the making of this video, that is just over 6% of all known Pokemon. Obviously the game can't and shouldn't include all 721 Pokemon, but there are a few Pokemon not included in the game that left me scratching my head as to why they weren't included. Now it's still up in the air if Pokemon Tournament will have DLC or not. But one can hope, as there are many that would have been a great fit. In this video, I will be going over my top 10 choices of Pokemon that should have been included or should be added to the game as fighters or assist Pokemon in the future as either free or paid DLC. The only rule to this list is no legendary Pokemon. There are so many Pokemon I had to decide between, and it is likely that I might have missed some of the Pokemon you would have wanted included in this list, as it is a personal one. If that's the case, leave a comment down below and let me know who you'd want to see added. So grab a seat, pop some rare candies and PP ups. This is the top 10 Pokemon that I think should be in Pokemon Tournament. Cast Form is a man made Pokemon with a unique ability to change its appearance based on the present weather conditions. Because of this, I think it'd make an interesting and unique assist Pokemon. If the stages had weather effects, depending on the conditions of the stage, Cast Form could have different abilities. For example, if it's raining, Castform could assist with a water attack, or if it's windy, Castform could slow the opponent down or something. If implemented correctly, this would be definitely another strategic option to consider. At number 9, I am putting Greninja. Now I know what many of you might be thinking. Oh, Greninja is already in Smash. Exactly. Greninja just fits so well in a fighting game that would be a perfect fit in Pokemon Tournament as well. Just like in Super Smash Bros, Greninja would be a nimble navigator and could use Water Shuriken as projectiles followed up by some amazing rapid punches. At number 8 we have the evolution family of Pokemon, the Eeveelutions. Now I know Eevee, Espeon, Sylveon, and Umbreon are already in the game as assist Pokemon, but why not include more evolutions? Where's Flareon? Leafeon? It would be really cool if more elemental stones could be used on Eevee as its assist attack would change randomly depending on which evolution element is chosen at the start of the match. Or alternatively, have one of the Eeveelutions as a main fighter instead of an assist fighter, but it would be really hard to narrow it down to just one selection. Which one would you pick? Bulbasaur is often considered the most neglected starter from the first generation of Pokemon, but I think he'd be a really great fit in Pokemon Tournament. Bulbs just has so many different moves that could work in this game. Much like Ivysaur in Super Smash Bros. Brawl, Bulbasaur's vines could be used for grabbing and throwing opponents, Razor Leaf would be a great long-range projectile, and he could also possess a variety of seed attacks. Bulbasaur would be a really well-balanced, versatile, middle-of-the-road Pokemon to choose from. Aegislash, the Haunted Sword Pokemon, is already a go-to Pokemon in the competitive video game scene, and I think it would be a great addition to this game as well. Is it a sword? Is it a shield? Being able to switch between the more defensive shield form and the aggressive sword form after would also allow for an extra layer of strategy when facing up against an opponent. It would almost be like having two Pokemon for the price of one. What a bargain. Despite Blastoise being my all-time favorite Pokemon, I still think he would be a great fighter or assist Pokemon in Pokemon Tournament. Where Blastoise lacks in speed, he could more than make up for in terms of attack and defense. Hydro Pump would be an absolutely necessary ranged move along with more basic short-range attacks. Not to mention what an absolute tank Mega Blastoise would be in battle. Even as an assist Pokemon, Hydro Pump could work much like Frogadier's assist to give the player an edge in battle. Or better yet, maybe he could call up the Squirtle Squad for some extra assistance. Squirtle, 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 Squirtle. The perfect plan. 
have an assist Pokemon that the other player just can't and shouldn't hit. Togepi is arguably the least hittable Pokemon ever. It would be like attacking a little baby chick that hasn't even hatched from its eggshell. As an assist, Togepi could also use Metronome, which would select a random move that could either be extremely helpful or utterly useless, which would be an interesting gamble to make in a battle. Caesar is in my opinion one of the coolest looking Pokemon ever. Not only that, but I think with his steel hard claws, he would pack quite the punch on the battlefield as well. Caesar's claws are described to be able to crush any hard object, and by extension, any opponent in his path. Although incapable of flight, Caesar is noted to have incredible attack speed and would make a powerful and nimble fighter in Pokémon tournaments. Furthermore, he could also reach his Mega Evolution to become even more devastating than before. How can you not include a Luchador Wrestling Pokémon in this game? Halucha is one of my favorite 6th generation Pokemon, and I think Halucha would be a great addition to this game for two main reasons. Firstly, out of all the existing bird Pokemon, there are a total of zero, nil, fighters, and I think Halucha would be a great representative of bird Pokemon. Secondly, although small in size, Halucha is known for being a proficient fighting Pokemon, and making use of its flying abilities would be really fun and interesting to see. Not to mention, he looks cool AF. Many of you guys might have seen this from a kilometer away. At number one, we have a two-way tie. Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan both take the number one spot on this list, as together they are basically the yin and yang of the idealized fighting Pokemon. And if you have one, you absolutely need the other. I'm honestly surprised that at least one of these wasn't included in the game, because to me they are always the first fighting Pokemon that comes to mind. I mean, come on, they're named after Jackie Chan and Bruce Lee for crying out loud. With Hitmonchan's rapid punches and Hitmonlee's relentless kicks, I think both of these iconic first-gen fighting Pokémon would make a spectacular and welcome addition to the game. And there you have it guys, my list of the top 10 Pokémon that I think should be added to Pokémon Tournament if DLC ever does happen. Do you agree with my list? I'm sure there are some Pokémon you want in the game that I didn't include in this list, so leave your choices down in the comment section below. And if you want to see more of my videos, click on one of the annotations above, or subscribe and follow me on all the social medias to keep up to date for future videos. Again, I just wanted to say thank you all for your support, you guys are amazing. As always guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in a bit.